Hi guys, welcome to my channel All About Food. My name is Saili Habde and today's recipe is on my personal favorite Malay sandwich which is made with an instant filling mixture. To get started with a chain of recipe, on a fast flame, continuously stir 1 liter toned milk till it comes to a full boil. Keep frothing the milk as it creates more air bubbles which eventually makes the malai light and airy. Once the milk comes to a full boil, turn off the flame and remove it from the gas range. Again, keep stirring the milk for 5 minutes till it releases some steam and slightly cools down. This helps to make the chena moist. Else, if you tear the milk while it's still hot, it shall make the chena dry, which will eventually make the rasmalais hard and dry. After 5 minutes, add the lemon juice to tear the milk. I have used 2 lemons to tear the milk. Please strain the lemon juice or else you shall bite into lemon threads while eating malai. You can also use diluted vinegar to tear the milk which I have mentioned in the paneer video. Kindly check the description box below for the paneer video link. Once the milk solids and the whey separates, strain the solids from the whey and wash it with water to remove the lemon flavor and also to stop the cooking process of the chena. I have used room temperature water because it's rainy season and the water is slight cold. Whereas during the summer season, kindly use refrigerated water. Wash the chena using the same process twice. Once washed, Gather all the sides of the cloth and make it into a portly and squeeze out all the water from the chena. Keep the whey aside and again squeeze the chena tightly and keep it in the strainer. Rest the chena in the fridge for 2 hours. This step is crucial because if you don't do this, the malais won't form its shape. This helps to remove the remaining water from the chena, even if it's 1 teaspoon to 1 tablespoon of the water. After 2 hours when all the excess water has been removed from the chena, this is what is yielded from the entire process. So basically, from 1 litre cow milk, I have obtained 136 grams of the chena. This could vary depending on the quality of the milk. To make the malai, crumble the chena and knead it till it forms a dough. I am not adding maida, corn flour, ararot or any other binding agent to this dough. These malais are made of pure chena. To form the chena dough, it will take around 10 minutes. So you need to knead it nicely to form a firm dough. Make sure that your hands are completely dry while kneading the chena. Initially, the chena feels dry, but while kneading it, the body heat emitted from the palm makes it warm, which helps to form a nice firm dough. Once the chena dough is formed, I have divided the dough into 6 portions, which is around 22 to 23 grams of one portion. The malai for the sandwich needs to be little thick and not thin like ras malais. In order to shape it into square, take a portion of the dough and make a rounded. 
Make sure that it does not have any cracks. Flatten the dough and then keep pressing the edges to make it into a square shape. Make sure that there are no cracks on the top surface of the chena dough. Take your time while doing this. Also make sure that the malais are thick from all the edges. Similarly, I have made all 6 malais. This is just a close up of how it looks. These malais don't have any binding agent in them. These are pure chena malais. Thus, they have a porous texture. To prepare the sugar syrup for the malais, in a kadhai, I have added 3 cups of water. To that, I have added 1 cup of granulated sugar and 2 cardamoms for flavouring. Unlike Ras Malai and Ras Gulla, these Malais won't be sitting in the sugar syrup for long. So to have a perfect sweetness, the quantity of water is reduced to provide more sweetness to the dish. But this is still a thin sugar syrup and not a chanchni. Once the water comes to a boil, I add in all the Malais. Also, I have made this recipe without the Maida Slari. The cooking time required for these malais is 25 minutes on a constant high flame. Cook these malais initially uncovered for the first 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, cover the kadhai with a lid and let it cook for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Flip the malai. Kindly do this process very gently because I accidentally broke one while flipping them. Again cover the kadhai with a lid and let it cook for 10 more minutes. After 10 minutes, turn off the flame and keep the malais in the same kadhai to cool at room temperature. For the sandwich filling, I am making an instant mava. So, in a small kadhai, I have added milk powder, some granulated sugar, milk, saffron infused milk and homemade ghee. Cook this mixture for 15 minutes on a high flame. Let it reduce to mava consistency. This recipe is enough to sandwich all 6 malais. You can also use pure mava as a filling. Do check out the Kesar Mava Modak video for the detailed mava recipe. I have also mentioned it in the description box below. Once the mixture has completely reduced, turn off the flame and add in the chopped nuts. Mix everything thoroughly. Once the mava mixture is properly mixed, 
transfer it in a bowl and let it slightly cool. We need this mixture to be warm, so don't cool it completely. Also, the malais have cooled down to room temperature. Remove these malais onto a plate and slice them into two from the middle. Add the filling to one side of the malai. Here I have used a completely cooled mixture. So when I try to spread the mixture, it becomes a little tricky to apply. So it's necessary to apply it while it's still warm. Sandwich it with another slice of the malai. Also, seal the edges by pushing the mixture inside so that you get a very clean edge. You can also use the back of a spoon to seal the edges. Whereas for these slices, I have warmed the mixture, so it becomes somewhat easier to spread. Apply a thick layer of the mixture. Sandwich it with another layer of the malai and again seal the edges. By sealing the edges, the sandwiches look very clean. Similarly, I have prepared rest of the malai sandwiches. Garnish them with saffron water to give a slight yellow tinge to these malai chops. Rest these malai sandwiches in the fridge for a minimum of 6 hours and also cover them with a lid to keep them moist. Garnish these sandwiches with chopped nuts and remove them from the fridge 30 minutes prior serving. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.